Hello Leo. Welcome to your May 2017 reading. To better understand where the energies or what energies are connected to this reading or where they are coming from, I advise you to press pause and read the description. Do check out the channel for more content. And do not further stall, I will start this reading by pulling out four cards or five cards in a diamond shape. And this first card, yes, is the issue. This, oh, excuse me, the second card is the influences from inside which you are unaware of. This third card are the influences from outside you are aware of. The fourth card is what's needed for a solution. And the fifth card is the solution or what comes clear if you pursue this endeavor. And then after that I will pull out um, Osho Zen Tarot card and read from the booklet. Um, and this card is the point of focus uh, you must keep yourself zen to or mind yourself and that will resolve paradoxes in your life uh, so I will pull out this card after this reading well, well, okay so the first card is the chariot and the chariot in the Los Carabio deck law of attraction which this deck is uh, I will read out for you we all know what the chariot is, it is change or duality in many cases, dynamism as well, acting immediately and concretely if you want to make your dream come true take the first step immediately within a few hours of expressing your desire so it is uh, calling upon action and what are the inside influences which you are unaware of is the eight of chalices and that is chances or luck so you might have luck coming your way Leo and that is opportunity as well profitable dealings and opportunities must not be underestimated in making your dream come true the end of one relationship and the beginning of a much better one so you have some changes in um, people in your life maybe switching around a bit you might be dealing with one person the one time and in the month of May you might focus more on somebody else and some of the influence from outside you are aware of is a new beginning within feelings it's the it's the, the one of chalices the ace of chalices which is all about happiness if your dream is linked to your emotions you will certainly succeed in making it come true so it is uh, quite important to keep your head and your heart in the same direction or pumping in the direction that's needed for you to advance and take what's needed for a solution is a new beginning the Ace of Swords in reverse so the Ace of Swords in reverse is all about spirit of initiative, affirmation, victorious struggle wealth, fame, the realization of your dream will bring you success in love and finances so it definitely calls you to take action within the month of May do not sit and wait you have a new beginning waiting for you if you have your mind and heart in the right place and it will make you even uh, come to a concrete solution whether if it's beneficial or not the tree of chalices is the solution uh, presenting itself to you in the month of uh, May, Leo. So I will read it to you, the tree of cups. The tree of cups is the solution, fulfillment, victory, difficulties are overcome in making your dream come true. So you will definitely overcome whatever action that is needed to be taken. If you take the actions, you will get to the solution. That is what the reading is telling me. And the point of focus for paradoxes for you, Leo. I will pull out the card and read from the booklet. 
So I will shuffle until a card presents itself. Oh, that's too many. So let's do continue here. And I have one card dropping out. Sorry for that, that it went that way. It's uh, here. Turning in. So Leo, you need to be turning in si inside this month. It's the four of water. It's a minor arcana. I will uh, look out the description fast if I am able to. So it's the four of emotion, mastery of emotions. No. The four of water turning in one hundred and four. The woman in this image has a faint smile on her face. In the fact, she is just watching the antics of the mind, not judging, not trying to stop them, not identified, just watching as if they were traffic on the road, or ripples on the surface of a pond. And the antics of the mind are slightly amusing as it jumps and down, up and down and twists this way and that, trying to get your attention and seduce you into the game. To develop the knack of taking a distance from the mind is one of the greatest blessings. It is what meditation is all about really. Not chanting a mantra or repeating an affirmation, but just watching as if the mind belongs to somebody else. You are ready to take this distance now and to watch the show without getting caught up in the drama. Indulge yourself in the simple freedom of turning in whenever you can and take and the knack of meditation will grow and deepen in you. So it asks you to turn in inwards this month, uh, Leo, if for your point of focus and then uh, to make this solution and take the right action. So and uh, yes, it will be a new beginning and if you turn inwards it's not a turning at all. Going inwards is not a going at all. Turning inwards simply means that you have been running after this desire and that and you have been running and running and you have been coming again and again to frustration. To each desire brings misery, that there is no fulfillment through desire, that you never reach anywhere, that contentment is impossible. Seeing this truth that running after desires takes you nowhere, you stop. Now that you make any effort to stop, if you make any effort to stop, it is again running. It is a, in a subtle way. You are still desiring. Maybe now it is desirelessness that you desire. If you are making an effort to go in, you are still going out. An effort can only take you out outwards. All journeys are outward journeys. There is no inward journey. How can you journey inwards? You are already there. There is no point in going. When your going stops, journeying disappears. When desiring is no more clouding your mind, you are in. This is called turning in. But it is not turning at all. It is simply not going out. I hope that was clear to you, Leo. I thank you for watching and do come back next month and watch your June reading. And uh, this was a very positive reading, I guess, for Leo. And until next time.